massive 17 and a half point favorites against the Texans. That's according to Fox Bet Sportsbook. It is by far the largest spread of this season with the next contest only being 14 points. Shannon, prediction time. What do you think the final score is? A whole lot to a few. Mm. Skip, the Cowboys haven't lost their home <laughs> since week one. The Houston Texans haven't played a one-score game since week 10, and they've lost seven straight. They're one of two teams that have mathematically eliminated from the playoffs. So with that being said, and now they've just gone back to Davis Mills. Yep. After they've tried Kyle Allen, maybe they should try, you know, maybe they should combine their names and can get a decent quarterback out of the two. Look, I think the only thing that Houston Texans are looking forward to now is the number one overall draft pick. Mm. And it looked like that's probably going to be Bryce Young. They're in the market for a quarterback. And so hopefully it works out well for them. But if you look at what the Texans, they average 15 points a game, 31st. Uh, they, it, nothing, nothing says that this game should be close. And so I went with a big monster score. I went 38 to 10, the Cowboys. I said they would win by at least 21. They should win by at least 21. Uh, the Cow- I mean, pfft. Cleveland, they lost to Cleveland 27-14, 30-15 Miami, 23-10 to Washington, 24-16. So that was the one-score game, 29-17 to the, uh, the Eagles. And you look at the Cowboys, what they score, 54-28-40. They lost in overtime to the Packers, 31-28, and they dropped 49 bomb on the Chicago head. So one thing we know about them, they can score. One thing we also know about their defense, they take the ball away. They do. And they, they score when they take the ball away from you. They normally score or they set the, uh, the, their offense up in great field position. I'm saying 38 to 10, Dak and Cooper Rush gets a quarter, at least a quarter to a quarter and a half a play. Cooper Rush gets the Cooper play? Rush get the play. He sees the light of play? You know that homecoming. You know that you know homecoming. You win the game. You empty the bitch. Yeah. Hey, son, get in there. Really? Like, Coach B? Yeah, get in there, son. Really? And don't F it up. <laughs> So it sounds like you're seeing the light on my Dallas Cowboys. Skip this thing, skip. And it's a bright light. Skip. The Houston Texans have already been mathematically eliminated from the playoff. What you want me to do? By the way, I know what I think they should have done. What? They should have claimed Baker Mayfield. <laughs> Am I right? Davis Mills, Kyle Allen. Kyle Allen, Davis Mills, well, Baker Mayfield. Well, theoretically, well, they do have a worse record. So That's yeah, what they, I'm they, saying. They, they, they could have claimed yeah, him and had yeah, him. Yeah, yeah. Am I right? Yeah, I'm sure could've. Baker's very happy they didn't claim him because he'd much better be a Ram than a yeah, Texan. Yes, Although absolutely. Baker did grow up in Austin, Texas, so he is a Texas kid and started out at Texas I don't, Tech. I don't want my family and friends to come see me play for it with <laughs> <laughs> I would agree. Y'all stay away. So, Shannon Sharp, yes. would you believe that your score is exactly my score? Really? I got 38 to 10, but I told you yesterday. Yesterday, I got Cowboys by 28 yeah. in this game, and so I thought I'd give Houston a little bit of respect because that little running back's pretty right. shifty and tough and, and runs stronger than he's he, he he runs bigger than he is to me. And so, will they figure out how to win 10, uh, score 10? You know why I gave him 10? Because I figured that going that going to throw a pick or he, he going to throw the ball. He might. Okay, I'll give you that. So, but I'm going to give my team 30. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And to your point. 14 takeaways over the last six games. That will work. That's how you win playoff uh-huh. games. That's how you win NFC Championship games. That's even possibly how you win Super Bowls, as yeah. you know. Man. My team is on a scoreboard rocking roll. Yeah. That, that's what it is because it will explode on people. And I don't have any fear of this being, as Jen pointed out, a potential trap game because – I think they'll just go out and do what they've been doing because they are on a late season roll, and then they got to roll on to Jacksonville, which is a much more dangerous opponent, oh, obviously, at Jacksonville. You see what you? I know what you're doing. I see what you're doing. You putting the cart? You putting the cart in front of the horse? Yep. I you putting because all you all you talking about is Christmas Eve. Yep. Christmas Eve. Oh, we go take care of business. I mean, you gave Jacksonville like that a little passing thought. Hmm. I, I got my horses riding in the cart. <laughs> Because I got so many horses, they, they don't even need to pull the car. They're okay. just riding in. Okay, it. you got it. Okay. And it is okay. a supercharged okay, car. Okay, the horses are riding yeah. in the car. <laughs> riding in the car. That's okay. what's happening. Okay. I, I did the top of my podcast on this. I, I no longer fear any any jinxes or, or any sort of historical. You did this last year. I did not. You I, did, you I like, didn't do it like they're this. They're unjinxable. No. Well, I, I said that at the end of the year. But, <laughs> but again, this is. 
beyond that. This is where, even when I said they're unjinxable, I, I still did all of my my anti-jinxes. Yeah. Now I don't care what jersey I wear. I don't care which of the TVs I'm watching the Cowboys ah! on. It used to be they got to be on the right TV okay, or I lose. Okay. I'll put them on the left TV against Houston, and it won't matter. Uh, and, and it won't matter whether Hazel's in my lap or whether she's on the floor. What about when they play the Eagles? Mm-hmm. Does it matter what TV they're going to be on in? I bet you it does. I bet you have on a certain type of jersey. I have already guaranteed a victory over the Eagles, and I'm letting those words go out into the universe, and I dare them to come back to haunt me because they won't. Jalen Hurts, A.J. Brown, Devontae, y'all hear this? Yep, Play. they hear it. And you know what? Deep down Brandon in their Graham. psyche, it's, it's, it's creating demons. You remember what demons like, are growing. You remember what Slay, who a big play Slay and, and, and Bradbury the fourth did? <laughs> you remember what they did to CD? Yeah, they almost lost to Cooper Rush. You know, they, you, do you remember what happened to CD? Do, do you remember what happened to CD? He's a new guy. He he has emerged. Lock up. Yeah, we'll see about Lock that. Lock up. Yeah. I, I predict the first play of the game, they'll throw it to 88. That's what I believe. Because they've been getting him involved and in action mm-hmm. and in motion and in rhythm and in sync. That's what they've been doing. He already and, know when he goes well, to Philly what okay, it is. Okay, but you've been acknowledging he is on the he, rise. Yeah. They finish, they finish, take it down a notch. Yeah. You know, like Denzel said in training day, Pelican Bay. Yeah. 23 hour lockdown. Okay. When you step on the field, lockdown for 60. Yeah. What happened mm-hmm. to Denzel at the end of that movie? That, 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 y'all, the, that's the, not y'all. Who was it? The, the Russians, Russians or somebody? That, that's got the Russians. The Russians yeah. just shot but the But he hell been dirty. He had been, he had good. He finally <laughs> caught up with me. I'd say, well, well what, what the everybody. Russians did to Denzel, we're going to do to the Texans. Okay. Exactly that. Okay. It's, that's going to be the microcosm of the scene. It's going to be. Okay, right? okay, okay. That's you're talking what's going to happen. You talking real? I, I am because I believe in this team because it believes in it. That's the. I, I don't have to believe it. I don't have to wish it. I don't have to mm-hmm. hope it. I don't have to to pick it with my heart instead of my head. I just see what I see. Mm-hmm. And this team has firepower and emerging star. So what about Eagles? They got firepower. Yeah, they, they're okay. They, they, got, they, 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 they what? Okay, and what did you tell me before the year? Dak's better than Jalen Hurts. Did Skip. you not say that? Skip. I'm picking the Cowboys to win the East because they got a better quarterback. That's what Shannon Sharp, the Hall of Famer, told me before the season yeah. started. Yeah, but Skip. I believe Tom Brady is a better quarterback than Jerry Goff, mm. but I don't believe he's played better than Jerry Goff. Okay. I believe coming into the season, Dak was a better quarterback than Jalen Hurts, but no metric will tell you that Dak Prescott has played better than Hurts. So, uh, Which I foretold. I told you Jalen Hurts is the realest of deals, but you, and, and I respect him, but I no longer fear him. But you told me you was also picking the Cowboys because of your quarterback. You picked them to win well, the division. Well, you have to because of the quarterback in the end, right? But I also told you my team will go as far as my, oh, Micah, 11 from heaven, and the defense carries my team. And I also well, believe he can't have another. he can't have another game like he had Sunday. No, he got to get some tackles, some assists, some quarterback okay. hits, some okay. pressures or something. He's saving it. He didn't need it. <laughs> they, they, you know, he is funny like this. It, it's like when, when you need him, he suddenly says, oh, here I go. I'm going right. to flip the switch. Right. But he doesn't do it every game. He doesn't flip it. And I think he's fallen slightly behind Bosa. Mr. Bosa I, for I Defensive agree. Player of the Year. I and I, I'm with you on that. It's time to rise and shine. We still got a whole lot of football down the stretch to play. And we got a big Sunday, it's late afternoon game on Christmas Eve against said Eagles right here on Fox. And <laughs> I'll be there. I'll be watching it. Not, I'm not. I'm going to be watching it on TV. Yeah. But my, my point is, I've already booked it. I you did. I, I was so confident after I did my big. after I did big. my podcast yesterday. You kept egging me on, and egging me on. And I finally said, okay, I'll give you three points because I know my team's going to win that by at least seven, at least seven, if not ten. Give me three more for seven. Heck no. <laughs> Heck no. I already gave in and gave you three. No, but your confidence, they're unjinxable. It don't matter. They yeah, should win the, by 20. But the way you talk, Philly's going to come in as a two-point favorite. They're going to leave as a winner. I don't know how they come in, but I know how they're leaving. Okay. Well, we got five on it. You want to go up to six today just to make it an even six? Uh, nope. I like five. Huh? I like you like five mm-hmm. because you know I'm right because you're starting to see what I'm seeing about the Dallas Cowboys because you picked 38 to 10. Yeah. It's the Houston Texans. Okay, you, you, listen, back in my gambling days, long ago gambling days, what, what was the biggest rule of thumb? What, what was lesson number one to be learned? Double-digit favorites starting at 10 points in the National Football League? Just take the points. Yeah. Just take them, yeah. right? I mean, look, I hate I hated playing teams like the Houston Tex- 
Texans. You know why, Skip? Because they throw caution to the wind. They go for it on fourth down. They'll onside kick you. They'll fake punch you. They'll fake field goal you. They ain't got nothing to lose, so they just throw all the caution to the wind, and now you got to be on your P's and Q's. Because normally you're like, okay, it's fourth, it's fourth and six. Oh, man, they're about to punt this ball. Okay, I will also throw this to you. In the past, in some years, this has been considered a rivalry because it's a Texas yeah. rivalry, but – it was always a one-sided rivalry because the Cowboys look at the Texans like, what? Even, oh, ma- even back to the Oiler days. Like, who as cares? a matter of fact, didn't they get their first win against the Cowboys? If I'm not mistaken, the Houston Texans, as we know, have got their first win against you guys. I don't remember that. Yeah, yeah you do. Maybe I <laughs> you deleted wanted- it, right? <laughs> but but the point is, they may come in thinking, we got this is our arch rival. The Cowboys just look down their noses like who the hell are you? Texas ain't got no arch rival, yeah. unfortunately. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe it's, the, maybe it's the, the, the Tennessee Titans because they would. The, no, yeah, don't, they don't have a rivalry. Scheme. Thank you. Thirty-eight to ten as we continue our roll toward the Go NFC 45, 10. championship Go game. Go forty-five ten. No, I'm thirty-eight. I, I told you twenty-eight, and then I convinced you, I guess, because you said twenty-one but, yesterday, and then you went all the way up to twenty-eight. Let me tell you why. Because Skip, I was trying to say, okay, twenty-one points. Do I believe the Cowboys twenty-eight to seven? I believe the Cowboys are going to score more than 28 points. You know what I'm saying? I believe, and so I'm trying to get to a number. I'm trying to get to a number where I can balance it out. I'm like, and I'm looking at how the Cowboys score. They got 54, and they got 28, they got yeah. 40, they got 28, they got 49. Yeah. So even though I was like, nah, that got 38 all over it. Okay. So I so, might be 30, it might be 38 to seven. Okay, you got it. <laughs> the final thing I no longer want to hear a peep about is what. Cowboys do cowboy they things. They do cowboy. That's a thing of past. It's a verb. Past. Cowboy. Past. Cowboy. Okay, but that has nothing to do with the 2022 Dallas yeah, Cowboys. Yeah, it has everything to no, do with it. No, it has nothing. 